Hello! Uh, I'm Christine! I'm John. Today we're counting down the five worst films of 2018. Plus, giving out some fun superlatives like the most overrated, <laughs> most enjoyable, most movie. disappointing. I gotta kick some movies while they're down. <laughs> I gotta say, this list was harder than the top list. It was. We don't see movies that we don't think we're gonna like. Yeah, we don't wanna pay so to see a bad movie. So these are the worst movies of <laughs> the movies that, that we, we saw. saw. The most enjoyable bad yeah. movie, the most positive superlative we have today. I have a hunch that ours is the same. And what it was it? The Meg! It was the Meg! Yes! This stupid dumb movie, yes! I loved it. it was so much fun and it was so so it dumb. was fun and dumb. It was and so dumb. So many moments where you're like, but in like a good but, way. Ha, ha, yeah, like a haha, like, ha, like, like wow, this wow, is stupid. Wow, they're doing this. <laughs> you have like a bored night where you have nothing to do and you just want to watch a stupid fun do movie. Do the Meg. Do the Meg. The Meg is the best bad movie of 2018. Yeah. Our next superlative is the most, most Meg. The Darkest Minds. Oh yeah, it's very sad. It just it's it's not a film for me. Honestly, it could have been a film for you. It, okay. It just wasn't, it just wasn't. adapted the best. <laughs> My most meh film of 2018 and I felt bad putting this on there, but I was very excited about this and it just didn't have the kick that I wanted it to and that was Ocean's 8, which uh... had so much potential and it was so much fun and then the heist was not elaborate enough. Yeah. All the guy movies got such great heists and I was like, "Hey, this heist was over way too easy. Excuse me. The cast is great. That's and everything they did a, leading up they to it They all did a great job. Really everything leading up to it was great. But yeah. I remember we both felt like when the heist was like over, we're like, that's it? Yeah, I was or, like, wait, and, where's all the twists and turns? And there's always that like that classic moment where like, uh-oh, it's going wrong. But then they fix it and they're like... And they fix it. It's like, it. well, they have there's something else, right? Like yeah, something else is going to go wrong. And they're like, no, it's good. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'd like to see the same cast take another shot at it. I would love to see the same cast. Take, I'd love to have another writer take a <laughs> whack at it. Yeah. Get Lee Bardugo to do it. <laughs> the most overrated Ooh, the most film overrated of 2018. Film. This is kind of like a punch in the gut for that film, and I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Mine, you guessed earlier. A Simple Favor? It's a Simple Favor. The reviews were all great. Everyone liked it. I know you liked it. I did enjoy it. I mean, there were parts where I was like, okay, we just kind of lost ourselves a little here. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt through the whole movie. Um, <laughs> it started off really strong for me. I will say I really liked the performances. I thought Anna Kendrick Anna was Anna Kendrick really was great. amazing. Um, I can't remember the other lady, but she was, she was really great. They held up the movie, but everything else was either just too many twists or it nonsensical. It got convoluted. I just checked out like halfway through. My most overrated movie of the year is Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> and it's because those movies are not memorable to me at all. The jokes are there and then they push them so far that I just get frustrated. Like, it's not funny anymore. Keep moving. It's a Marvel movie so there's a lot of hype and a lot of excitement. I can't believe I'm saying this. It hurts to say this, but I put Ant-Man and the Wasp as my most disappointing film. <gasps> Oh my Which God. hurts. I love Marvel. I was excited for the Wasp to join. I've been wanting to see the Wasp in a film since the first <laughs> Avengers when I expected her to be in the film because she's a part of the original Avengers in the comics. And it took forever to get the Wasp in the Wasp suit and fighting bad guys. And I was expecting a lot of, as the title says, Ant-Man and the Wasp action. And they kind of split them off yeah. in a lot of the action stuff. I thought it was really fun and great, but it still disappointed. Like I was expecting a lot more. I have two down for most disappointing. Okay. One of them was Mary Poppins <gasps> What? And it wasn't a bad movie. No. But I was just disappointed. I hate how let down I oh was. Oh my god. But I felt so let down when I was watching it and I wasn't thinking any of the songs were particularly catchy. I wasn't thinking it was shot particularly well oh for choreography god. reasons. And I just was expecting more. I love that movie. I was waiting for that song that like brings this magic into me. Like when I'm watching The Greatest Showman or something or La La Land or anything that makes me feel like, <gasps> but there was none uh, that felt like that. that. That got me right from the start when they jump into like the, the bathtub and go on a pool adventure. A lot <laughs> like, of people love that scene. I loved it. Like, I, I can't even remember the first Mary Poppins well, but when that animation and stuff was like, oh my God, I don't remember the first movie, but I remember that feeling and I, I, it came back. The feeling for me was that magic exists. I think this is the mm. earliest film that I was like, oh my gosh, this is magic. This is real. And it was like when she snapped her fingers and the stuff moved by itself, it was like stop motion. <laughs> that felt so real. And also when she poured 
the liquid and every time she poured it it was a different color and when she looked in the mirror and the mirror <laughs> was just doing something different and they like talked and had a conversation i loved that they did. when they pulled stuff out of her bag and then she measured everybody and they there was just a description for them i love all of that and i just didn't feel it as much because the effects were more cgi than practical that's sad i'm I shocked know. it was very sad coming out of it and not feeling like I knew really you, I knew you, you didn't like it as much as me, but I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that it's here. <laughs> Sorry, I feel really bad about it. Why did you, why did you I bring Mary Poppins when, into this? I thought it didn't mean She to. doesn't deserve I this. I didn't mean to. <laughs> My other most disappointing, you probably know what oh, it yeah. is. Uh -huh. I hate that it's on I know. this list. You gotta say it though. It's the kind of thing we're gonna uh -huh. We don't have honorable, it would be kind of weird to have an honorable yeah. bad movie mentioned. This one <laughs> no was mention. just not shitty enough to make the <laughs> list. The Sorry, you should have tried less. It's time for the countdown of the worst movies of 2018. We wish they were better. Number five. Five. Number five for me was Ready Player One. I don't think it's a bad movie. The main draw and what I liked most about it was all of the little Easter eggs of video game and 80s characters and stuff like the DeLorean. The story itself is kind of like, eh. The action goes downhill after the first, like the race is really fun at the beginning, but everything after that is kind of like, eh. The characters aren't really fleshed out and I just don't care about any of them. What bothered me most about it was just how hypocritical the whole arc of the movie was. Supposedly the creator made this game to encourage people to like go outside and not play games but to beat this game yeah. <laughs> you had to stay in it for ages <laughs> to learning it all this shit about him yeah. studying this one guy in his like top 30 movies of all time it was just ridiculous yes yeah, it didn't make any sense i don't even know if we talked about it that was before. so narcissistic that's hilarious. he wants everyone to that. go live their life but no you're making them sit for hours and hours and days and weeks <laughs> learning just specifically about your life. That cracks me up. That almost makes the movie better for me because how stupid it is. And my number five is another one that was like not terrible and I am sad that I had to put on this list but it was Christopher Robin. Oh, what are you I doing know. to Christopher Robin? I know. Why is he here? I loved seeing all the Pooh characters. I just wanted to see more of them. And I wanted more of a plot. Like an overarching plot. I like the plot. Like a real storyline. The balance was weird between the real world mm. and the Pooh world. When Pooh was around, he was really he was funny great. and great. I know, and there were so many nice moments with All the other characters, too. I really enjoyed it. I'm kind of surprised this is here, too. This and Mary Poppins. You know, I was so looking forward to these. Uh, okay. And I was let down, and it hurts. <laughs> Coming in at number four. Four, 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 four. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna get depressing again. We're back. It's the crimes of Grindelwald. <laughs> Here we are again. I like Jude Law's Dumbledore. Newt's still one of kind of like my most favorite, interesting protagonists in a movie because he's very different. I just really enjoy watching that character and watching him do his thing. And that's kind of the highlight of this movie, as it was the highlight of the last one. But I like the last one a lot more. It's just too much going on there's a whole conversation in the mausoleum i'm like what the fuck's going on underdeveloped storylines yeah like i don't even like what's happening i hope they can turn it around i like the characters i like the world I um hope. my number four i did not want this to be on my list i hate that it didn't translate as well as i wanted it to and that is the Darkest Minds movie. No. I'm not gonna go into detail. I have a whole review about it. I'll say one highlight though. Chubbs. The, yeah, I loved him. I loved him it too. It became the Chubbs movie for me. Yeah, me too. Where it's just like anytime he shows up, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. Number three. Three, 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 three. <laughs> Cloverfield Paradox. You know, I actually like this movie more than most people. This got like torn apart online. It's kind of like the Meg, only way worse, where it's just like a dumb, fun movie to watch. It stars Daniel Brühl. I love Daniel Brühl. I'll watch anything he's in. It was disappointing because this movie had the whole hype around it. I think it was like the Super Bowl and had the commercial. It's like, it's on Netflix now. And everyone oh, was like, yeah, oh my I remember God. remember that. Yeah, and that's what I did. I went after, I'm like, shit, let's watch it. It didn't really make much sense. It wasn't really exciting. There were some fun moments. My number three is Crimes of Crimson. No, oh, we're back. We can't it's, escape it's it. So many it's everywhere. David Yates, what have you done? Two. Two. We're down to two. two. We're going so fast oh in this God. one. My number two was a contender for most disappointing. Bad times at the L. Oh Royale. my God. 
Yeah. This is also my number two. Oh my god. <laughs> this movie was supposed to be good. It was supposed to be good. It had a great trailer. The trailer rocked. It had a great concept. It started out strong. Yeah, it did start out strong. John Hamm was great. John Hamm was great. He was the most interesting character. Spoiler alert, not in the movie that much. <laughs> everyone else was kind of just the semblance of a character. But except they, Jeff Bridges. Except Jeff Bridges. Him too. He wasn't a sympathetic character particularly. No. And you need someone to root for. There like, wasn't anyone to root for. There was really. no one to root for and it got very, very weird very fast. Yeah. And I feel like they didn't take advantage of the amazing concept. They made it out to be like it's going to be a whodunit. Yeah, they set it up like it's going to be a but it's not. But it's not. It's just a mess. And it's this <laughs> really fascinating horror concept of this hotel where everyone can see everything Everyone's being doing. watched. Yeah. They don't do anything with it. They bring it to the foreground in the beginning and like, oh, this is what the movie's going to be about. And they're like, yeah, nah, fuck no. it. No. And they tell it like it's going to be a clue story where everything connects. Mm. Nothing connects. It's all obscure. And there's multiple moments where it, it does, for me at least, it started building up. I'm like, okay, okay. And it's getting it more interesting. And then doesn't. they change to something else and it just It's just like dies. nothing nothing feels satisfying. Yeah. With all this build up and nothing has that click moment where you're like, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> Everything's more like Whoa, that came yeah. out of left field and didn't do anything for the plot. It was shot well? It was shot well. And edited well. Maybe they did reshoots and like tried to redo this and that's why it feels like such a hodgepodge Something mess. happened. It's kind of the kind of movie where at the end you look to each other and like, what was the point of that? I fell asleep toward the end. <laughs> yeah. There was, I, I think there were moments where like, should we keep watching? Yeah. If I was watching by myself, mm -hmm. I would have turned it off. That's a bummer. I don't recommend spending your money on bad times at the L. Right? Yeah. It's not, a bad time. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's a bad Bad time for everyone. <laughs> Although you can watch the everyone first else online seems to like it. Fifteen minutes of it. That's the thing. All the comments online, the reviews were like generally positive. I don't understand I don't that. Get it. Is it just because it's shot very well? Like the cinematography is great. That if there's a uh, highlight, that's it. And yeah. John Hamm, who's John gone Hamm, yeah. like twenty minutes of the movie. Yeah. Wow. We're here. We're here. The worst movie the worst of twenty eighteen. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Number one worst, worst movie, movie of 2018 goes to for John. You want to unwrap mine at the same time? Sure, yeah. Okay, the number one worst movie is Jurassic, Jurassic World, World Fallen Kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> this movie sucks. <laughs> What a shit masterpiece of shit. <laughs> this movie, it's not only bad, but it just ruined a series. <laughs> it didn't ruin the Jurassic Park. I mean, Jurassic Park's still good on it. This but was like a parody of itself. It's Every moment, I was just like, is this real? They're like, we need to give a blood transfusion <laughs> to this dinosaur. Go to the other dinosaur of a different species. You need to save the dinosaurs. I'm like, why? Why you made them. Why did John Hammond build his giant resort theme park? on an active volcano? Why did they like retcon that to Why put that in? Why did they go to the island as the volcano was erupting? And it was like a haunted house Yeah, the second dinosaurs. half is a completely different movie. The first half is just a really bad version of the Lost World Jurassic Park. And then the second half is this weird ass dinosaur haunted house movie that's just <laughs> embarrassing. I kind of tore this apart already in my story yeah. that I ate this. This is our number one. We got to talk about I it. I know. How did that dude build that whole dinosaur containment lab under the old dude's mansion? When did that happen? How when did you notice like all the construction like going on? The dinosaurs in this don't act like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are animals. Maybe because they're man-made. They act, they act like movie monsters that like are knowledgeable of their own surroundings and existence. God, the dumbest scene in this. It's in the trailer. The little girl goes up into her room. She's <laughs> hiding under her sheets. The fucking dinosaur comes in and rather than like an animal like a tiger a bear something that's gonna eat you and like just come and eat you it creeps in like a monster and it goes over to the sheets and it takes its talon and it the pulls sheets. the sheets and it's like what the hell is going on remember that moment where they were deciding whether or not to set all the dinosaurs free into oh the my world God. and they did and they're like it's the better Oops. choice no you're gonna kill a lot of people what are you doing I <laughs> can't believe they're gonna squeeze another movie out of the Jurassic World world. I would rather them just stick to their old formula and make the same dinosaur movie that they were doing with Jurassic World. I would one, rather three. do that too. Yeah. Go to an island just and get trapped and need to get film. off. You know what I love? A good plane crash yeah. on a dinosaur island. Yeah, surviving dinosaurs running around in the forest. Get Dr. Grant. Yeah, get he's him back. my favorite. Yeah. Dr. Grant? <laughs>
<laughs> I love Jurassic Park. 3. I like Jurassic Park three. It's a birdcage. <laughs> I love everything. For what? What's your most anticipated movie for this, this, uh, year? this, this year? Infinity War two. Oh yeah, Endgame. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear what your worst and yeah. best movies of twenty eighteen were. I'm Christine. I'm John. I'm Big Videos Every Tuesday, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. See ya.